have me, Christine Bentley, and you have Sharon Caddy in studio. And joining us is the founder and CEO of Grab Mobile Inc. His name is Kabir Daswani. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So we want to know what is Grab all about mm -hmm. and how did this story start? So Grab is a mobile app that lets people conveniently, uh, conveniently pre-order and prepay for meals. So uh, if you're working in like downtown Toronto in the financial district, you mm -hmm. can use our app, browse from a list of restaurants, and effortlessly order and pay for your meal. Um, once you put the order through, you'll get a real-time notification telling you that your food's being prepared, and one more telling you when your food's ready for a pickup. Then you can essentially skip the line. Um, the cashier will recognize you by your photo if you choose mm -hmm. to put a selfie. And uh, yeah, you just pick up your food and you're on your way. So you would you would program in your credit card to the, to the app. It's like sort of, um, I don't know, like Uber. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. So you, you have mm -hmm. no hassles. You just you just basically order it, mm -hmm. punch it, and, and show up. And you're good up. to go. Yeah, correct. So the registration process takes around 60 seconds. You only have to do it once. Mm -hmm. and you put your uh, name, phone number in case the restaurant needs to reach you, and an email so we can send you an email receipt. Um, if you choose to put a selfie, that's a really great touch because then that way the restaurant they can, can recognize, recognize you. you. Right. Exactly. Smart. Yeah. yeah. And they can greet you by name, and instead of just, you know, greeting you with your order number, they can say, hi, Kabir, here's your food. You're more than a number. You're more <laughs> than a number, exactly. <laughs> um, so what prompted you to develop this app? Did you develop the app? Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm the founder of Grab. Right. And the idea came to me when I was back in business school. Um, going for your daily coffee or daily lunch, it's something that... Um, it just becomes part of the routine, and unfortunately, uh, back when I was in business school, the lineup was also part of the routine, mm -hmm. something that no one likes. You know, when you're a student or a working professional, time is very valuable. And, you know, I thought, why is there, you know, why isn't there a better There's solution? There's got to be a solution to it, Correct. sure. Yeah. And for me, it was just getting a simple drip coffee, something that takes 15 seconds to pour, but it was a lineup that was the biggest bottleneck. Uh, so I thought, well, if you could order ahead. And so that's uh, kind of how the idea came to mind um, when I was back at university. Um, we started to test the idea and the application within Toronto's financial district. Um, as you know, financial district is extremely dense. There's... Uh, yeah, I, we know. <laughs> <laughs> um, the food courts uh, and the path have tremendous volume and it's a, it's a challenge for them to get all their customers through because of the lineups and mm -hmm. for them the cashiers are the bottleneck. You know, perhaps there's only one or two cashiers at every restaurant. So um, we started to beta, beta test our app back in 2014, towards the end of 2014, in the financial district and had an amazing response. And since then, we've really started to scale out to more and more restaurants within downtown Toronto. So we're in uh, the King West, Queen West area, Liberty Village, um, financial district, of course, uh, along Young up to Yorkville. So this is essentially you're ordering your lunch to go and get it. So Correct. it's not being dropped off. Correct. Um, it's a pickup experience. and A pickup, okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. So we focus on the in-store experience, and we just thought, how can we make that experience better? So you know, a lot of restaurants put a lot of money and time into doing their storefront and to the customer experience, but the one thing that they couldn't control is the lineup. You know, you can serve delicious mm -hmm. food, have uh, amazing staff behind the counter, um, have a beautifully decorated interior, but your lineup you have no control over, and that's something that hinders a customer experience. So when did you launch this? So we did our beta testing uh, late 2014, and we did our official launch a few months back, uh, 2015. Right. Um, since then, mm -hmm. we've scaled to, uh, we have around 85 restaurants um, partnered with us, and yeah, we just scroll. so when someone goes to the app, there's a listing of correct restaurants and everything. So when you open up the application, uh, there's a list presented to you, and it's sorted by your distance. Okay. You know, what we're offering is a very uh, hyper local uh, service. Essentially, it's every restaurant has to be walking distance. So we present the restaurants in uh, in order of distance, and we provide an estimated walking time. Uh, and essentially, when you click one of the restaurants, let's say uh, Hero Burgers, mm -hmm. one of our uh, partners. You can look through some of their images. There's around four cover photos, so you can get a sense of what what they offer. Um, a lot of people are familiar with Hero, but we do have a lot of local gems that people might not know about. So, if so you you get a menu, like you can exactly yeah, okay. You get a menu, and uh, the nice thing is you can customize it. 
Uh, you can customize your order. So let's say when you do go to order a Hero Burger, there's a lot of toppings mm -hmm. and sauces and bread choices and cheese uh, toppings. So it's a bit overwhelming if you're in store and if you're doing it for the first time. With our app, you can take your time, you can browse, you can add as much as you want, and then you can submit your order. Yeah, that lineup can get a little intimidating where you're trying to read the sign for yeah. what you want. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, I know that I've been downtown because I've had a meeting or something and tried to grab something, and the lineups mm -hmm. literally at lunchtime it's in the core of the city <laughs> yeah. are are right down the, I mean right down the hall. Like you're literally no, you're going to be standing there mm -hmm. for twenty minutes, and then they have to prepare it. And then they have to prepare it. So right. your whole hour mm -hmm. is, is mostly is, waiting. Is yeah. mostly <laughs> waiting instead of walking over there and getting it, eating, and walking back yeah. and doing something else. So what? How many customers do you have now? In just a few short months. So in a few short months, we have grown our um, restaurant partner list to uh, around eighty-five. Mm -hmm. um, so that's uh, that's something that we've uh, we're very proud of. Right. Um, and the the restaurants we've partnered with are great quality names. And we we made a decision to go for um, you know Toronto's best quick serve restaurants. Uh, so we have Hero Burgers on board. We have Brioche Dore, uh, Fresh Off the Boat. Um, we have a few aroma locations, so it's really a, a select um, names, some that are really well known because they're a bit larger and some are that are the local gems that only those in the area may know about. But now we're really extending that to anyone who has the app. Excellent. Um, we did a, a survey a few days back and actually that was one of the um, points of feedback we got. One user said that now, thanks to Grab, he discovered two new restaurants See, in his area. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and he's there on a regular basis. And this is what she said on Sirius XM Channel 167, Canada Talks, Sharon Caddy, Christine Bentley, and our guest in studio, the founder and CEO of Grab Mobile Inc., Kabir Daswani. Now, this is, we're talking Toronto. Do you see growth into other major centers? Yes, definitely. Um, our app works very well wherever there's density, mm -hmm. and we have had interest expressed uh, as far west as Vancouver and as far east as PEI. So really the entire country. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and we're currently um, doing a beta in Montreal, mm -hmm. a beta test, so we plan to definitely expand outside Toronto very soon. Excellent. Um, yeah. So how many people do you think are using it? So we have uh, just under 10,000 uh, registered users, people who have registered for our app. Um, and uh, it really varies their frequency of how often they use it. Um, but that number as well has grown significantly in the last few months and something that we're really focusing on growing currently. And what is their feedback when you talk to your customers? Um, it's a mix. People love the app for different reasons. Some people really love the, uh, the, the customer experience. You know, you walk up there and you don't have to talk about numbers and money and, and exchange any currency. You can simply have a nice conversation. You know, it's, it's a simple enjoy your lunch, think, hike a beer, enjoy your lunch, and I think people really feel appreciated by that custom experience. Yeah. Um, of course, the, the feeling of skipping the line is incredible. Um, when you see, you know, 15 to 20 people lining up and you can walk up to the Grab Express line and your meal is sitting there waiting well, for you. Well, that would make the conversation nice, because yeah. if you've been standing in line, and it, like you said, it's not the fault, really, of, of anybody in particular, it's just busy. Um, the feeling you have at the counter when you've stood in line for 10 or 15 minutes versus the, the feeling you have when you walk in, it's paid for already, mm -hmm. and you're just you know, pleasantly saying, thank you, hey, this looks great. That's a, that's a whole different experience. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have now restaurants approaching you? I would think you would. We do. Because they would feel that they had lost a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and that's something that uh, we're very proud of because, you know, initially for... Uh, companies that start off, it takes a while to get to the point where clients are approaching you. Um, but we have we have um, got to that level. We have a few, we've had a handful of incoming restaurants come to us and, you know, inquire about our platform and sign on, uh, which is great because, you know, Toronto especially is an extremely competitive market when it comes to restaurants. Uh, you have to not only have good food, but people are very brand conscious and mm -hmm. also very, I guess, in with the times and the trends and Today, the big trend is convenience, so a lot of restaurants realize that they have to be offering something like this to their customers to stay competitive. Well, it's also, I think, a good means for branding and uh, advertising for a restaurant. I mean, if someone experiences this really quick, convenient way to get the food and they like they like the people, they like the service, they like the food, then you're also thinking about that in the back of your mind. If I have to have a lunch business meeting, okay, that's a cool place. I discovered it on Grab, and they'll, the restaurant will see bookings increase ju just by virtue of that. Yeah, absolutely. We found it's that. It's great advertising. Mm -hmm. It is great advertising, though. Have you had calls from the U.S.? Um, not as many. 
um, we the team of the team behind Grab. It's it's kind of funny because none of us are actually from Toronto. We all chose to move here. So I moved here. I moved here a few years ago. Um, we had have, have someone from PEI who moved here, mm -hmm. and I think when you move into when you take the choice when you have the choice and you move to a new city. Um, you do because you're in love with that city. Mm -hmm. So we've really fallen in love with Toronto, and we really want to make Toronto our priority just for now as we kind of grow. Um, so Toronto is definitely our main prior priority when it comes to expanding to new restaurants, but we do very much have uh, Montreal and Vancouver uh, in our sights. But you would not expand this to the U.S.? We definitely would. Uh, it's all just a matter of time as we grow. So how quickly do you see this kind of growth across Canada? Um... Because it's a new phenomenon. Yeah. What, people what, are still wrapping their heads around it. Correct. Uh, you know, I mean, I have a son in the same, not in, in this space, but again, it's, it's what he calls the convenience revolution because mm -hmm. people just want to be doing other things with their time. Um, and it's a, it's a changing world. Definitely. Um, and I think anything that is new takes time to gain adoption. Um, we look at the Starbucks, Starbucks app. Uh, mm -hmm. Today they are, or I guess January 2015, they hit 16% um, adoption, meaning 16% of their revenue went through their mobile payments app. And it took them a few years to get to that point. But if you think about that, that's extremely significant uh, in terms of their, their revenue percentage. Um, so in terms of the adoption for something like this, it will take a few, a few months, um, uh, perhaps maybe even longer for, for customers to really get familiar with the idea and comfortable with it. Um, one of the big barriers is uh, putting your credit card online uh, onto an app. Right. We've had, it's nice that as we have more and more apps entering the payment mm -hmm. space, people are becoming more and more um, comfortable with that. I was going to say, you, you will be benefiting from the fact that a Starbucks did start it sooner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know for me, that was... It's funny because Starbucks was the first one I adopted, and I was hesitant. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, eh, "Do you?" But you know what? I haven't taken actual my actual wallet out in a Starbucks now mm -hmm. for like over a year. Yeah. And it's so easy, and and they, then they can put in reward systems and all that stuff. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, I I mean, what is your prediction for the next five years in terms of these convenience apps for time saving for basically quality of life for mm -hmm. people because yeah. time is priceless. Time is priceless, and. If you look at the um, adoption of technology over the last few years, um, technology grows at an exponential rate. So five years ago, we were at maybe the iPhone 3. Yeah. Now we're at the iPhone you know, the, 6S. The, I'm going to be introducing the 7, apparently, at the beginning yeah, of the year. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and what we could do, you know, five years ago compared to today, it's, it's, it, it must have been hard for anyone to imagine five years ago. So when we look at the next five years, I personally think that no one will be making, no one will be waiting in line to make a purchase because we'll be able Why to digitize you? all that, exactly. <laughs> and um, no one will, again, have to take their wallets out when ordering food and perhaps even retail. Yeah. I mean, I think people just generally don't want to spend time on menial things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to eat, and they want to eat well. They just don't want to stand there mm -hmm. forever. They don't want to go pick up dry cleaning mm -hmm. and shoe yeah. repair. And they want to spend time with their kids or they want to go for a walk or they want to go to the gym or yeah. they want to read mm -hmm. a book or something meaningful because yeah. they don't have that much time left. That's right. It's the art of time management but getting exactly. easier when we have these applications to go to. So let's ask you this. Do you see another app in your future? Uh, I would say yes. Ah. And, uh, <laughs> we actually... Um, a month or so ago, we did launch another app, Ooh. and it was an app to pre-order and prepay for meals at the food building at the at, at the, the X. CNE? Correct. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So we had partnered with a dozen of the top vendors there. Yes. You know the the guys who do the yeah. deep fried Oreos and yeah. all that fun stuff. Um, we partnered with them, and we offered ba basically a uh, very similar service where you could order yeah. ahead and skip the line. Mm -hmm. And if you've been to the X in the food building, you know how long those lines are. Yes, exactly. Are. And is, how did it work out? It was incredible. Really? We had over 5,000 downloads in the first week. Um, a lot of people adopted the platform. We got extremely great customer feedback, and the restaurant partners we worked with also loved it. That's interesting. What is your 
is your prediction for the next five years in terms of these convenience apps for time saving for a basically quality of life for mm -hmm. people? Because yeah. time is priceless. Time is priceless. And if you look at the um, adoption of technology over the last few years, um, technology grows at an exponential rate. So five years ago, we were at maybe the iPhone 3. Yeah. Now we're at the iPhone Six S. I'm going to be introducing the seven apparently at the beginning yeah. of the year. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and what we could do, you know, five years ago compared to today, it's it's it, it must have been hard for anyone to imagine five years ago. So when we look at the next five years, I personally think that no one will be making, no one will be waiting in line to make a purchase because we'll be able Why to digitize you? all that <laughs> exactly. And um, no one will again have to take their wallets out when ordering food and perhaps even retail. Yeah. I mean, I think people just generally don't want to spend time on menial things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they want to eat, and they want to eat well. They just don't want to stand there mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go pick up dry cleaning mm -hmm. and shoe yeah. repair. And they want to spend time with their kids, or they want to go for a walk, or they want to go to the gym, or yeah. they want to read mm -hmm. a book, or something meaningful because yeah. they don't have that much time left. That's right. It's the art of time management, but getting exactly. easier when we have these applications to go to. So let's ask you this. Do you see another app in your future? Uh, I would say yes. Ah. And, uh, <laughs> we actually, um, a month or so ago, we did launch another app. Ooh. And it was an app to pre-order and prepay for meals at the food building. At the, at at the, the CNE? Correct. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So we had partnered with a dozen of the top vendors there. Yes. You know, the, the guys who do the yeah. deep fried Oreos and yeah. all that fun stuff. Um, we partnered with them and we offered ba basically a uh, very similar service where you could order yeah. ahead and skip the line. Mm -hmm. And if you've been to the X in the food building, you know how long those lines are. Yes, exactly. Are. And is, how did it work out? It was incredible. Really? We had over 5,000 downloads in the first week. Um, a lot of people adopted the platform. We got extremely great customer feedback, and the restaurant partners we worked with also loved it. That's interesting. That is very interesting. So this could be an on-occasion basis where, I don't know, if there's an Olympics or if there's, yeah. uh, I mm -hmm. don't know, a concert or, or something where you're expecting. Correct, because when events like that happen, you have a huge influx of customers. Um, For a day or two or mm -hmm. three or ten. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, one of the interesting uh, facts about the food building is it's primarily a cash uh, business in the sense that they don't take credit card or debit card there. So we not only provided the value of skipping the line, mm -hmm. we also let those individuals who didn't have ca who didn't have cash in their wallet to now use the app and use their credit card and still order. Wow. If somebody's listening somewhere in the country, maybe in one of the larger centers across our country, and it is interested in finding out more from you about if mm -hmm. and when and how this could eventually find their way, how can they get in touch? Uh, so our website's a great resource. It's www.grabb.ca, so grab with two Bs. Yes. Um, our, our email support line is always active, so it's support at grab.ca. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so those are two great ways to reach us. Well, that sounds amazing, I and know. I'm sure that we're going to have you in here in no time at all with a new app. I know. <laughs> I, 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 can, I can just see him pumping out apps, can't you, Sharon? And the more convenient you can make our lives, the more we're on board. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.